Now let's do division of mixed fraction and whole number. Pero bago yan, para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. At ito namang Philippine Civil Service Review for All, ito yung FB group kung saan pwede kayong mag-post dyan at marami tayong mga FB members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong ninyo. Pwede rin kayong pumunta sa files ng grupong ito para direkta nyo ma-download yung mga libreng printable na reviewers. Pwede rin kayong mag-share sa mga reviewers nyo. Mostly sa mga members dito ay yung mag-take or nakapasa na sa civil service exam, sa AFSAT, or kung ano man yan na posibleng makatulong sa inyo. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan at FB pages na posibleng makatulong sa inyo. Now, dito na tayo sa mixed fraction or mixed number na i-divide natin sa whole number. Always remember, kapag merong fraction, ma-division man yan or multiplication, dapat itong mixed fraction na ito ay dapat nating gawing improper fraction. Paano yan, ma'am? 12 and 1 half. Gawin nating improper fraction. 12 times, i-multiply mo yan, 2 equals 24. At i-add mo yung 1, 24 plus 1, that is 25, at kopyahin yung 2 na denominator. Bago natin gawin itong divided by 2. Next, meron tayong fraction dyan. Itong improper fraction na yan. So, ang gagawin natin ay kopyahin itong i-divide natin. 25 divided by 2. Ang division maging multiplication. At ang reciprocal nitong 2 one half. Paano naging one half, ma'am? Laging tandaan na ang mga whole numbers, one, two, three, four, lahat ng mga whole numbers, automatic mayroon yung one as denominator. So, kung balik tarin natin yan, yung two ay magiging one half. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Numerator to numerator. So, 25 times 1, that is 25. 2 times 2, that is 4. So, ang sagot na 25 over 4, yan ay improper fraction. So, kailangan natin is simplify. 25 divided by 4. Dahan-dahanin natin. Ilang 4 ba sa 25? Meron yang 6. 6 times 4, that is 24. 25 minus 24, and that is equals to 1. Now, itong 6 na to, yan yung whole number. Itong 1 na remainder, yan yung numerator. At itong 4 na pang divide or yung denominator kopyahin lang. So ang final answer sa number 1 ay 6 and 1 fourth. Next, dito sa number 2, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Itong mixed fraction na to, itong 4 and 2 third, gawin natin improper fraction. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 2, 14. Kopyahin si denominator na 3. In other words, si 4 and 2 third ay pariho lang sa 14 over 3. Now, itong 14 over 3, kopyahin na natin si 7 divided by 7. Doon na tayo sa pag-divide ng mga fraction. Kopyahin si 14 over 3. Ang division maging multiplication. Reciprocal ni 7, 1 over 7. 
Now, numerator to numerator, 14 times 1, that is 14. 3 times 7, and that is 21. Malist pa natin ito by finding the greatest common factor, which is 7. 14 divided by 7, that is 2. 21 divided by 7, that is 3. Therefore, ang sagot sa number 2 ay 2 third. Another way, pwede namang si 14 divided by 7, that is 2. So, 2 times 1 equals 2. 3, kopyahin na lang si 3 kasi wala na, na-cancel naman yan si 7. Kopyahin na lang si 3, so ang sagot ay 2 third. Next, number 3. Again, itong 3 and 3 fourth ay gawin ulit natin improper fraction. 3 times 4 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15. So, this is 15 over 4. Kasi, kopyahin lang yung denominator na 4. Now, 15 over 4, i-divide natin ng 5. I-divide natin sa 5. Una pa rin natin gagawin ay kopyahin lang si 15 over 4. Ang division maging multiplication. Again, ano nga ang reciprocals is ang whole number na 5, that is 1 over 5. Pwede na tayong mag-multiply numerator to numerator. 15 times 1, that is 15. 4 times 5, that is 20. Pwede pa natin yung malis by finding the greatest common factor, which is 5. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Kaya ang sagot dito sa number 3 ay 3 fourth. Another way, pwede namang ito, 15 divided by 5, that is equal to 3. So, 3 times 1 equals 3 at kopyahin lang si 4. Kaya ang sagot, 3 fourth. Next, number 4. 3 and 1 fifth. Laging tandaan na itong mixed fraction na ito or mixed number dapat nating i-convert muna or i-change muna into improper fraction bago tayo mag-divide or mag-multiply. 3 times 5, that is 15, plus 1, 16. 16 over 5, kasi kopyahin mo lang si 5. Divided by 4. Kopyahin itong i-divide natin. 16 over 5. Ang division maging multiplication. Ang divisor reciprocal niya. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Numerator to numerator, 16. Denominator to denominator, 20. Malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Kaya ang sagot sa number 4 ay 4 fifth. Another way, at ito ay mas madali, 16 divided by 4, that is 4. So, 4 times 1 equals 4. Tapos si 5, kasi wala na si 4 dyan, kopyahin na lang si 5. Kaya ang sagot, 4 over 5. Thank you for watching at abangan yung mga future videos natin.